Nokia's Here 3D mapping service is getting a big refresh, with the company dispatching a second-gen fleet of scanning cars worldwide using an updated laser and panoramic camera rig developed by Earthmine. This is a little demo route that we made for you. And so you activate that, loads up, and then that little blue area is the route. Um, and then it tells you to go to a starting point okay. there which we will drive to now, and then it will start to give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. And it's, it's a program called Route PhD that has uh, these algorithms that you give it a shape file, a polygon, and it will calculate the most efficient way to uh, co get complete coverage of all the streets mm -hmm. without a lot of redundancy, without, without a lot of going back and forth um, over the same street that you've done several times. Okay. And then once you get to your starting point, it gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions. But this camera tab here, uh, it shows, it will populate automatically every 10 seconds or so with the current images, the most recent images. Okay. And, um, I'm to turn here. and so that's how you can look for like bugs on the lens or something like that, water drops, etc., etc. If I go here for extreme dark situations, the next preview that gets pushed through will be overexposed. And so the driver kind of has control of those different things as well. And then you can push through high resolution images like that. And I mean, once you get started in the car, it's pretty easy. It allows the driver to focus on driving and not have to really be playing around with this all that often. You can see how it. But stream of points basically reconstructs the whole environment in 3D. So okay. you get a very dense set of points that describe the 3D environment around the car. And so that's the data that can be used to put, say, 3D buildings on, on the maps? Or? Exactly, exactly. You can use that geometry to construct 3D buildings. You can use it to help in the recognition of signs and other uh, guidance information. In the Right above the gear stick there we have the Lumia 920. Okay. And so I, sorry. the Microsoft Surface and the uh, server and the control box there are connected wirelessly to the to the um, hotspot on the mm -hmm. Lumia 920. And that's giving that, um, those two devices internet access. Okay. And so we use that to update our servers with the real-time position of the cars. Okay. What they're doing, what, and there's an application on that Lumia that allows the drivers to enter their current activities. Right. So, you know, whether they have downtime, whether they're collecting, and then that gives, that's up, uh, pushed up to our servers. It gives us the uh, visibility into what the fleet's doing at any given time. Okay. And how many cars did you say had outs, kind of? Um... So, uh, in, like in the current generation, um, we just started deploying them last month. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, we had uh, 45 of the True One okay. gen uh, systems. So this year, we'll more than triple our capacity okay. with this next generation system. Mm -hmm. So right now, we're really focused on scaling right. selection activities. Okay, and you were saying that it's uh, the first time that you're expanding beyond kind of North America and Europe with yeah, this function. exactly. Okay. So 27 countries just this year. Uh, right across Africa, South America, Asia, North America, and Europe. Wow. Okay. So it's a, it's a real worldwide deployment. Mm -hmm.